In light of Frontotemporal Dementia Awareness Week, the wife of iconic actor Bruce Willis, Emma, came out on the Today Show to shed light on what it's like to live with and take care of a loved one with this rare disease. Frontotemporal Dementia, also known as FTD. What exactly does that even mean? You see, our brains are subdivided into different regions called lobes. These lobes specialize in doing various different things. Specifically, we have the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes. And this, my friends, is where we get the name frontotemporal, because in this disease, specifically the frontal lobe, located, well, in the front of our brains, and the temporal lobes, which you actually have two, one on each side of the brain, are affected. And to be even more specific, the nerve cells, aka the neurons of these regions, gradually stop working because people with this disease, well, they have some mutation in their DNA which codes for uh, making abnormal types of proteins. And it's these proteins that for some reason end up piling up inside of the neurons found in both the frontal and the temporal regions. This mutation could potentially be passed down from generation to generation, but it could also affect the individual without having inherited it at all. So it's kind of similar to Alzheimer's in the sense that there is an accumulation of something inside nerve cells in the brain, making them slowly die off through time. However, Alzheimer's disease affects different regions of the brain, specifically those that relate to memory and movement, and frontal temporal dementia, because it's the frontal lobe that's affected, this region is associated with executive function and personality. So a sign of this disease is when someone changes their behavior. For instance, you could have observed somebody who was the sweetest person, uh, calm, gentle, loving their whole life, and all of a sudden they start being feisty and even showing like inappropriate behavior as their new baseline. They could also change from from being like highly organized and tame to just being impulsive and having difficulty planning things ahead. And don't forget that the temporal lobe is also affected. This region of the brain specializes in language. So as you may have guessed, these folks will likely end up having trouble speaking, writing, and understanding language as a whole. Again, comparing this type of dementia to Alzheimer's, another key difference is that in frontotemporal dementia, it tends to affect relatively younger individuals, uh, people typically being diagnosed at the ages of 45 through 64, rather than just being in the 65 plus demographic. So unfortunately, up till now, there is no cure for this dementia. So it's really, really, really important to be understanding respectful and show support for any friends or family who may be struggling through this disease. How was it to come to terms with this diagnosis for you? I think it was the blessing and the curse, you know, to sort of finally understand what was happening so that I can be into the acceptance of what is. Um, it doesn't make it any less painful, but um, just being in the acceptance is, um, and just being in the know of what is happening to Bruce just um, makes it a little bit easier. And that's a SparkNotes version of frontotemporal dementia. I know it's a bit more of a somber episode today, but in light of frontotemporal dementia awareness week, please share this video to shed light on the topic. And here at MedShow with Dr. James, I'm wishing everyone and their family members who are struggling with this disease, such as Bruce Willis and his family, much love and best wishes, and may God truly bless and protect all of you. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, until next time.